Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of relative sizes. This is standard 4.8a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 35 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Garrett has a baseball bat, a baseball and a bat like this one shown here, and we need to find the measurement that describes the length of the bat. And so we've got a whole bunch of 35s. The only thing that's changing here are our units. So we need to have just a good relative idea as to what inches and meters and feet and millimeters and all of that is without necessarily being able to measure this bat because they're not asking us to pull out our a mathematics chart and actually measure the bat uh, we're looking at a real life bat this is just a smaller version of it so let's start with just trying to figure out a bat and what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to put it in context here of an adult male so here's my adult male and he is going to be about six feet. So your average adult male is a little bit shorter than six feet. But if you think of your dad or your grandpa, they're a little bit on the tall side. They're about six feet tall. And so when you think of uh, a baseball bat, when you're swinging the baseball bat, if you stand it up next to you, it usually comes maybe about halfway. So if we kind of think of it like this. Think about holding that. Now, I'm saying this as an adult. If you are a child, you're obviously shorter, and that bat might come up a little bit, a uh, little bit taller on you, but about halfway. So we're thinking maybe about three feet. So that's our guess at this point. It's about three feet, about halfway up to the waist of this adult male. Now, what do we know about all of these other measurements? Well, three feet, there are 12 inches in a foot. So 12 inches equals one foot. So if I were to do three feet, well, I would just need to take those 12 inches and multiply them by three, and you're gonna get 36 inches. So 36 inches equals one foot, and 35 inches is our answer for A. So that is really, really close. So that's looking like a pretty good option right now. Let's look at meters. All right, so a meter stick is about the same distance as a yardstick. So think of that really long yardstick that's in your classroom, one yard, and then it's got about a meter on the back. So it's almost the same. It's not the same exactly, but it's almost the same. The meter's a tad longer. And so uh, if we think of a meter and a yard right there, well, that yard is actually three feet. So this adult male is about, that's three feet, so call it about two yards, maybe, which is about two meters. So we're going to call that two meters. So we're just kind of basing everything off of what we know about this adult male. So he's about two meters tall. So imagine if you had 35 meters, so that you would need 17 and a half uh, adult males standing on top of each other to get the length of a bat. That's obviously way too large. We've already said that this bat is about um, three feet, so th and the adult male is about, on average, six feet tall. So think about this 35 feet. Now you've got almost six of these adult males standing on top of each other. And so once you get that picture of how tall an adult male is, this also seems way too large. And then we've got 35 millimeters. So millimeters are the tiny, tiny ones. There's a thousand millimeters in here. So you use those when you're measuring with a ruler. Um, and it's not even as big as a regular ruler, which is a uh, one foot or 12 inches so it's way less than that so that's this is less than your 12 inch ruler so that means it's too small our answer here is a